Hi, this is going to be the probably the final video dealing with the alleged eyewitnesses of the resurrection story. And I mean, this is just going over the excuses that people give whenever I bring up that a conspiracy is possible. If I assume that your alleged five facts and points are actually valid and factual, because if I don't, then you have no story anyway. So the first excuse is that hallucinations only happen when a person expects it. Okay, this is funny, because if the disciples did not expect the resurrection, then don't tell me that the, the Old Testament predicted a, a resurrection or a savior, because that would be an expectation that disciples would have. So decide already, decide already whether the disciples expected the resurrection or they didn't. If they did, you can you have to consider hallucination as possible. And if they didn't, don't tell me that the Old Testament predicted or expected a resurrection story. Okay. Secondly, somebody says that well the disciples had nothing to gain, and when Yeshua was dead. They lost all hope for Christians to dominate Rome or whatever. Basically, the disciples feared for their lives as soon as Yeshua was dead. Now, why were they fearing for their lives unless they had a reason to? Either they were irrational or they were rational. Well, let's, for the sake of argument, say that they had a very good reason to fear for their lives. This was before the resurrection and they feared for their lives just for being Christian? If that were true, then you would have to admit that even without the resurrection story, these disciples would have died horrible deaths. Which means that they would have died horrible deaths even if they did not believe or claim to believe or claim to have seen the resurrection of Yeshua. So there goes your two excuses of how sincere or truthful these disciples and eyewitnesses were. They could have been hallucinating, because if they were not, they weren't expecting it, and you can no longer say that the resurrection was predicted in the Old Testament. And if they were already fearing for their lives, then the resurrection story wouldn't have been an excuse to persecute or, or martyr his disciples. Sorry. So the point is here, that you cannot use that the disciples died horrible deaths as even a test for their sincerity of the belief that Yeshua resurrected. Never mind that they were actually sincere and therefore it's closer to truth. You can't even use that as how sincere they were about believing the story now. Okay? So decide already whether you want to use the ex these excuses or not. Either hallucination and persecution before the resurrection are considered, or they are not. Either one does not help your case. So if you want to talk about the inability to explain contradictory facts, I'm sorry, I think you have a harder time than I do. And I don't need to invoke any supernatural miracles. Thanks.